for thousands of years, for a long, long time. Near Mediterranean area, there's an oil I call the golden oil of the West. It's extra virgin olive oil. There are tons of articles in the media, in the newspapers, in magazines. Each and every, every one of these articles, nowadays, especially nowadays, start, it's, it's like a renaissance, okay? started to talk about the health benefits of uh, olive oil. I had a little problem, so I warned those who are uh, really intense into eating olive oil, okay? I want to remind you, there are 13% saturated fat in the oil. It doesn't matter what price you pay. Worst of all, olive oil contains a lot of omega-6. In other words, the ratio of omega-6 and omega-3 is pretty offset. It's not balanced. So, eating too much of this oil, let's put it more bluntly in common English, fat is fat. It will give you a lot of problem if you drink too much of this stuff. On the other hand, the most beautiful thing about olive oil is the following. This is one of the very rare situations where the oil comes from the fruit instead of from the seeds. Now, if you go into the market and go to uh, any sh shop here in Hong Kong, you're on the shelves, you can see all kind of olive oil, even in the uh, uh, even far off areas where people are, are mostly just 99% Chinese, for example, you will also see olive oil on sale in the market. Okay. But you will rarely see some very top level extra virgin olive oil. How do we know uh, we are buying the right stuff? But before I get into the right stuff, I want to let you know. Okay. Extra virgin olive oil came from the fruit juice, came from the fruit meat, the flesh of the uh, olives. This is rare. Now, there are many benefits, aside from the saturated fat and calories, there are many, many, benefit, many benefits of this oil. Okay. And uh, I can easily summarize it. There's, uh, um, there's it's a very potent antioxidant, and antioxidants is what you need, believe me. No matter whether it will be flowing in your heart, in your blood vessels, uh, or it's the metabolism of your brain, the, the, your mining sheath, the recovery, this, this oil is even anti-cancer. It's even help you if you've got uh, a colon cancer. It will repair the cells. It will also help people with diabetes, Type two, uh, not type one, and um, and arthritis. There are just way too many benefits ne to neglect this. So there are certain situations, okay. Uh, you want to use the oil, okay. Use it as long as you don't over uh, uh, indulge yourself with this oil because it's very tasty. The flavor is fantastic. I can bake. A slice of uh, bread and soak it up and eat it. But I do want to bear, uh, want you to bear in mind the calorie content of this thing. The, my problem, okay, my issue with uh, extra virgin olive oil, which is the oil you want, because the benefit you will obtain for your family is far exceeds the money that monetary value. There's no viable reason for me to recommend just regular olive oil. Even some bottles it says 100% olive oil. To me, it's pointless. Get the extra virgin olive oil because that's where all the goodies are. You don't want the processed oil, the, the chemically processed oil, or the oil from the seeds. This is the oil from the flesh of the olives. So that is the key point. My issue it's the lack of government control. A few years ago, uh, a guy named Tom Miller, in, co uh, in collaboration with the uh, uh, University of California, they had came up with an analysis of what's going on with the olive oil in the market because this, 
this commands a premium price. The, the, it was fun that 69% of the oil in the market are fake product or adulterated product. Only the government or uh, more fancy private institutes have the equipment to analyze the presence of uh, uh, contamination. It is very difficult to tell from on uh, on a uh, you know on a uh, home environment, for example. I have I have put all of this in the refrigerator and test them. There is no detectable difference. Are they all the same? I doubt it. Okay, I've I've uh, allowed them to go through the burning uh, or flame test, so to speak, and under many different conditions, and I can not tell the difference between these oil. But if you if you light up uh, uh, this with, for example, uh, coconut oil, I can tell the difference right away because the flame is different. Apparently, the sophistication of adulteration of olive oil is very, very high, and I highly recommend the officials of Hong Kong government to really dig into it. There is no reason for us citizens to be deceived by people who are not who are not telling the truth. How do you know the truth? Where do you find the truth? Ladies and gentlemen, it came from the labeling, the labeling law. Hong Kong government must control this. Okay, QED. So I can I even ran some uh, uh, thin layer chromatography analysis at home just to on silica gel plate to see if I can tell the difference. For all these uh, commonly found extra virgin olive oils, except this one, this is not, okay? The others are extra virgin olive oils. They all look very, very much similar, but I seriously doubt they are all that pure. Extra virgin olive oil is beautiful for your body, beautiful for your uh, mind, and very good tasting. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you just don't know what you're getting into. Thank you very much.